evening. That's a little gooder. It is 7.21 on Monday. It is Thanksgiving Day here in Canada. And my camera is so not working with me tonight. <laughs> Hang on a second. Did I get it? Kinda? No, not really. Oh, she's being a douche. Whatever. So, it's been about a week, I think, since I last uploaded. Sorry. I've uh, been busy. Um, work has been a little hectic. I'm trying to open my coffee here. <coughs> work has been a little hectic. And then, of course, you know, we have the long weekend now. So, you know, trying to, trying to do stuff with the kids. Trying to do trying to do mom stuff um but uh yeah so I don't understand why this is so weird hang on a second I'm gonna fiddle with this for a second because it's really bothering me I don't know why it's doing that I need to fiddle Is that getting looser or tighter? Well, ah, lefty loosey, righty tighty, Jen. <laughs> Did I get it? Kinda, sorta, maybe? No, not really. I don't know, whatever. Whatevs, I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, um, yeah, work's been a little, work's been a little crazy. But uh, other than that, I mean, the long weekend's been nice. <coughs> the weather's been weird. It's probably, my car says it's 12 degrees Celsius right now. I woke up this morning. Now my, my thermostat in the house is in Fahrenheit. I don't know why. I don't know how to switch it to Celsius. But it said it was like 60 Fahrenheit, um, which I think is somewhere in the teens. It was cold anyway, okay, it was really freaking cold. So I finally caved and I went ahead and turned my furnace on and I'm not happy about it, okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> and Saturday, Saturday wasn't as chilly as the last couple of days, but it was chilly. Monkey and I drove out to um, the fall fair, maybe a 20 minute drive from here. And, but it's out in like a field, <laughs> so lots of wind. Um, but we got to, we finally got to see the, um, motocross dirt bike show that they do every year. And for all the years that I've gone to this fair, I have never made it to see the bike show before. And so I was so excited this year when we actually got to catch two shows. It was friggin' awesome, okay? It was fantastic. I loved it so much. And I really hate my tripod tonight. I'm sorry. You know what? You know what? Hang on. We are gonna remedy this right now. The tripod is going. I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the tripod tonight. Hold on a second. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> okay, that's that. <laughs> yeah, there'll be none of that tonight. That's too much fuckery for me. So, yeah, the, the bike show was fantastic. I mean... Monkey and I had such a great time screaming and hooping and hollering for them that, um, I don't know about him, but I actually lost my voice for a little bit. <laughs> it was a good time. I got a sweater and everything. Oh, I still have my seatbelt on. I got a sweater for them and everything. Woo, freestyle. Yay. It is the most comfortable, one of the most comfortable sweaters I've ever bought. And for 60 bucks, it fucking should be. <laughs> and Monkey got a hat. 
um, and he got all three riders to sign it. That was really cool. He was very excited about that. <clears throat> and we met up with my brother there and my nephew and my brother's new girlfriend. Um, and I told her as soon as she introduced herself to me, I will forget your name. It's, and I, I have no idea what it is. No idea. I'm horrible with names. I need to meet you several times and you have to tell me your name several times. It's yeah, I, I'm horrible. Whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> um, but we didn't spend much time with them. We kind of, they caught up with us toward the end of the first, um, bike show. And then, well, Monkey and I had to find a bathroom. We'd already been there for some time, probably about an hour or so, hour and a half maybe. And I'd already gotten Monkey lunch. Which, can I just say, okay, I love a fair. I do. I love them. But I got Monkey a hamburger. No. I got him a sausage on a bun with like a regular size fry and a can of Coke for $19. $19. One <laughs> nine. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I think they said, I think the next show, there was like an hour or something to the next bike show. So we walked around the fair for a little bit. We found a bathroom found a place to get cash because I brought like a hundred bucks with me. Well, 120. It was $10 for each person to get in. Each adult. Which Monkey qualifies for as now. Um, so it was 20 bucks for the two of us to get in. Plus I brought a hundred bucks just to like eat and fuck around with. But because his hat was $30, which fine. I mean, whatever. My sweater was 60 and I was not planning on buying a sweater because I actually dressed appropriately this year. That never happens. Usually the only time I buy clothes at a fair is if I go underdressed and I'm cold. <laughs> <coughs> so we had to find a spot to get some more money out because I wanted to eat and I knew we were going to probably pick up you know, you got to buy some junk food and you got to bring snacks home. And I wanted to make sure that I brought something home for Boo Boo because he didn't come with. So, and I'd seen when we parked in the parking lot, there was a sign for an ATM. I couldn't find this ATM for love or money. So I finally found uh, somebody working at the park and I asked them and they said, you know, quite honestly, she said, there is an ATM and she pointed it out to me. And she said, honestly, the charge for using it is stupid expensive. If you go to the ticket booth where you get tickets for the rides, they'll do cash back and it's free and you don't have to buy anything. I was like, that is what I'll do. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so I took out some more money and then went and got myself something to eat. I just got like a thing. I got a regular thing of fries. Nothing on it. Just naked fries. Okay. Eight dollars. Eight dollars for french fries. What I wanted was a bloomin' onion because I love those. Seventeen dollars for a bloomin' onion. Get the fuck out of here. And that was probably the biggest line in, in with all the foods was the blooming onions. Like, you, what are you, are you people out of your goddamn mind? Seventeen dollars? <sighs> no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> so I went and got my fries and met up with my brother again. And I'd said, you know, like we're gonna go watch this other bike show. Monkey and I were so into the dirt bike shows. They, it was such a good time. Um, but I also had my nephew, my nephew had a poster that I'd rolled up and put in my purse. Um, so I made sure he didn't want her, that they were sticking around or what, cause they didn't want to go home with his poster. 
And they were like, no, they ended up watching the second bike show with us, so they caught a full show. We caught two full shows, and they caught, like, one and a half shows. And like I said, the dirt bike shows, were, it was worth the drive just to see the dirt bike shows. It was so good. It was so good. I can't wait for next year. So, we really enjoyed that. And by the time that was done, it was probably around 2 o'clock. We'd been there for about two hours. I was done. It was getting cold. Monkey was getting cold. So, you know, I gave my nephew back his poster. And I loved on him and embarrassed the shit out of him right out there in the Publix. It was great. He went all kinds of red. It was awesome. <laughs> He's so sweet. <laughs> Uh, said goodbye to my brother and you know gave a nod to his girlfriend I couldn't even remember her name I was just kind of like yep bye <laughs> nice, nice to meet you bye bye <laughs> and we drove home we had a nice drive home but I had said to Monkey in the car you know that was Saturday was it Saturday that we did yeah it was I said do you want to watch a movie with me tonight and he said yes so what do you want to watch? Do you want to watch like something like scary, something bloody? What do you want to watch? He want I said a horror movie and he said yes. And I said, okay, well, he is just slowly getting introduced to the world of horror. He's 14. So I said, well, my idea of horror is kind of bloody. I love me practical special effects. I have a background in it. I love it. I love to see it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to see 31. He said, I'd never heard of it. I said, of course you haven't. <laughs> of course you haven't. So once we got home and after dinner and all that kind of good stuff, I jumped onto the YouTubes and I found a trailer for 31 to show him. And I explained to him, it's a Rob Zombie movie. He knows who Rob Zombie is. I said, uh, and he's seen a few of his music videos, and I said, well, picture that, but like on cocaine. <laughs> and with a lot of blood. <laughs> a lot of F-bombs, like, yeah. So I showed him the trailer, and he was like, yeah, 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 I want to see it. He really enjoyed it. And of course, we had a discussion after, as we always do when we watch pretty much anything, but especially something that might be like taboo or like horror. Um... We always have a discussion after, right? So, we did that. We had a nice talk. And, uh, yeah, that was Saturday. It was busy. I was so tired. I was so tired. It wasn't a whole lot of driving, but I don't like driving. So, for me, in a day, that was a lot of driving. I mean, I get annoyed just driving up to the grocery store and back, okay? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Saturday and then Sunday we just sort of everybody sort of did their own thing Boo Boo had a friend over I'm trying to put my tripod away kind of Boo Boo had a friend over for a little bit and uh where's my e-smoke where's my e-smoke oh my god don't tell me I didn't bring it oh shite oh there it is okay um, yeah, he had a friend over for a little bit in the afternoon. Seemed like a nice girl. I don't know. I don't think I've ever met her before. I'm usually really good with faces, not names, not at all. But I'm usually pretty good with faces, and I didn't recognize her face. Although, you know, it was only lit by a TV, so I don't know. But whatever. Seemed like a nice enough girl. Uh, they were well behaved and everything, so it's all good. And then Monkey and I watched, we watched another movie on Sunday night. Well, I went over to my buddies for a little bit, probably for a couple of hours while they had dinner. Because I wasn't hungry, so I cooked them all dinner. I went across the street to my buddies for a couple of hours. And then... Uh, 
Monkey and I ran up to the 7-Eleven. I would bought chips the other day, like on Saturday. So we had chips, but I felt we needed more snacky snacks. So we went up to the 7-Eleven and got some ice cream, like a small thing of ice cream to share. And we each picked out a chocolate bar. And that was an obscene, I mean, that was like almost 20 fucking dollars. 7-Eleven is so expensive. I hate 7-Eleven. <laughs> But it was Sunday, and Sunday in this town, everything shuts down stupid early, so your only options really are like um, Shoppers Drug Mart or 7-Eleven, and they're both stupid expensive, so whatever. It was worth it. We sat down. We had a lovely movie night together. Um, he didn't want anything bloody. <laughs> he was done with the gore. Um, but he still wanted something scary, so... We watched Silence of the Lambs. That was an interesting discussion after. We had a really good talk after that one. We got sidetracked from, um, what were we talking about? Oh, serial killer tropes and stuff like, I don't know. Not really tropes, because it's, it's relatively true, but like taking trophies and just their behaviors and stuff, right? So we went from talking about serial killer behavior to um, cults. We got on the subject of cults. <laughs> Monkey knows nothing about cults. Again, he's 14. So we got onto that subject somehow and... Of course, I had to jump on the Google and fact check myself because, I mean, I watch a lot of cult documentaries. Well, a lot of cult documentaries, silly killer documentaries. Like, I'm just fascinated, absolutely fascinated by that shit. And uh, I just, I wanted to make sure that what I was saying was accurate. So, jumped on the Google and fact check myself. <laughs> And yeah, it was interesting. It was very, very interesting. So, we had a good night. I think I got to bed yesterday, well, the last couple of nights by about midnight, which is really early for me. <sighs> Pretty much slept right through, which is nice. That is a rarity. And I was up today by about 10 o'clock, I think. I think I was up by 10. Whereas... Saturday, I think, well, Saturday, Saturday is when we went to the fair, so I'd set my alarm for like 8.30. Sunday, I got up at like noon, and today I was up by like 10, so try not to get too far off track for work tomorrow, so. But today was more of a chill day, right? Just literally sitting on the couch watching absolute bullshit on YouTube today. Nobody's uploading, so. <laughs> well, that's not true. I think I caught Ready to Glare uploaded something and I love her channel. I watched that. I watched everything else was pretty much just like, I don't know, reviews on shows and movies and stuff, other people's take on stuff. I don't know something to watch anyway and I didn't have to pay too much attention to it so kind of had that on while I sort of tidied up the house a little bit and I brought all my plants in from outside like a week or so ago <clears throat> so they've been dropping leaves you know with the shock of coming inside so there was a great big mess of just plant junk all over my floor <laughs> throughout the living room and dining room which I've been ignoring purposefully for about a week because it takes a while. I want everything to drop and then just sweep it all up as opposed to just sweeping every day. So I tidied all that up today. I totally forgot to do laundry yesterday. Monkey needs all his school uniform stuff done so I've been working on that today. I'm gonna have to take his slacks and his sweater and one of his shirts and hang them up like on hangers up in his room so that he's got them definitely dry for tomorrow. I don't put any of that stuff in the dryer. I don't want it to get shrunk. 
I won't have to buy any more uniform crap before I absolutely have to. <laughs> oh, and my buddy came over this afternoon and we put that Rain-X stuff on our windshields. I guess he bought some last year. We got talking about it last night. And I'd said, you know, I, I'd wanted to go out and buy some rain -X to put on my windshield because, um, well, it's hard to see in the rain during the day, like if it's a decent rainfall. But at night, even if it's just spitting, I cannot see at all through my windshield. So I wanted to try this rain -X to see that if it helped. Um, I can remember my ex-husband using it years ago. And we were driving from, um, we were living in Georgetown at the time. We were driving from Georgetown to Kitchener to see my grandparents. And there was a massive rainstorm on our way there. It was really bad. I thought we were going to have to pull over. It was really bad. But he'd put the rain axe on the windshield. And so it was literally just running right off. The, it was awesome. I, he, At some point, he did put his wipers on. But through the most of it. We didn't even need our windshield wipers on. It was awesome. So I think this stuff will really help. Let's see. So I did that this afternoon. But yeah, overall it's just been sort of a chill kind of day today. It's Thanksgiving today here in Canada, but... Uh, my house doesn't really celebrate it. I, I could really care less. It's just a, yeah. Just an excuse to make a big fucking dinner. And I don't enjoy doing that because I don't need any of it. So, fuck it. <laughs> nope. We noped out of that. <laughs> I made the boys pork chops tonight. And I think I had a handful of potato chips. And a chocolate bar. That was my dinner tonight. <laughs> Yeah. And, and, I have, I think got, I can say I've got myself down to two cigarettes a day now. Just the last couple of days. But I'm down to two. And since it's almost eight o'clock now, it's about 20 to eight now. Mm -mm. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I might try tomorrow morning not having a cigarette, but <sighs> we'll see. I think the morning one will be the hardest one to kick, so maybe I'll try kicking the, the bedtime one before I try to kick the morning one. I still have like a pack, two packs and I don't know, maybe five cigarettes in another pack in my open one, so. There's time. There's time. We're not rushing. We want to do it right. <coughs> so, that's going good. I'll be really happy if I can get myself right off these cigarettes. I told, I told my boyfriend last night. We were texting. He was sending me pictures. He'd gone on walkabout. <coughs> well, uh, Monkey and I were at the fair. And, of course, he has to send me pictures of all the nature and stuff, which I like. I like when he sends me pictures of the woods and all that stuff. It's pretty. I don't like it when he sends me pictures of snakes and shit. He does that all the time. It drives me crazy. But I like, like, the woods and, you know, the nature. The deers, the bunnies. That stuff's great. Send me that. Um, so he was sending me pictures of that. And I said to him, you know, I think I've got myself down to two cigarettes a day, babe. And he was like, all good things, that's awesome. Like, you know, because I mean, usually when I try to get off, at least, I refuse to say quit. Get off cigarettes. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the vape going, I don't care. <laughs> get off the cigarettes. Um, I'll go maybe a week or, I think the last time was like a month. And I just lose my shit at some point and, and go right back to it. But that's going like cold turkey, right? Um... So he's like, yeah, you know, that's great. That's great. Good for you. And I said, yes. I said, I expect 
many much smooches and cuddles the next time I see you because I won't be stinky. So. <laughs> he sent me back all kinds of laughing emojis. I'm like, boy, you think I'm kidding. I am not kidding. You best be smooching and cuddling and all up in my shit. <laughs> Uh, and his house is coming along quite nicely. He sent me pictures it's today the 9th. I think October 2nd, whenever that was, was the last bunch of pictures he sent me. And like the, the skeleton is all up. And I think they've started doing like walls. I don't know anything about construction, so... But it's coming along quite nicely. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the week they're putting the roof on. Like, that would be so exciting. I'm so excited for him. Oh, my God. I, I, mm, yeah. Like, it's not even my house, and I'm stupid excited about it. <laughs> He's been going out a lot lately looking at, like, faucets and... <coughs> lighting stuff and whatever I think the one guy was like you need to pick out your colors and my boyfriend's the same as me like very visual right like I need to be able to walk through and see walls and rooms and whatever to like I can't just pull ideas like that out of my ass I need to I need to see it <laughs> But I'd said to him, you know, like, that is so exciting. Like, I, I love, I love painting. I love color. I love all that stuff. I said, you know, like, when you get that far, I have, um, like, a thing of paint chips. Severely outdated. It's very, very old. But um, it'll give you an idea. I said, I can bring it over and we can walk through and, you know, put some up on walls and, and take a look. Like, you know, that'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> I love that stuff. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, excuse me. <sighs> oh, look at that. We're almost a half an hour. All right, well, nobody watches this fall for this long. So, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and book and uh, finish up laundry and all that kind of fun stuff. So, anybody watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourselves, and we'll talk later.